And now it's time for lesson five, our final lesson. We're going to move on from the edit tab to the make movie tab. So let's click that. And in make movie, we have all kinds of choices. Look over here. You've got disk, file, tape, and web. Let me briefly explain what these are all about. Disk would let you make a DVD, or if you have a Blu-ray burner, if you're lucky enough to have that, you can make your own Blu-ray high definition video uh, compositions and play them back on your player. You can make your DVDs, of course, and play them back on a standard DVD file. When you click on file, what that's going to do is let you choose from a whole host of video file formats, MPEG-2, um, Real Media, AVI, DivX, Flash Video, all kinds of choices here. And you can do all sorts of standard settings like 720p HD or 1080i, whatever you want to do, or custom settings, you can create your own. The, the tape button here, I'm not going to press that because it'll try to initialize. That means you have a firewire connected camcorder with a tape inside of it and you're going to offload this composition back to digital tape. Probably not many of us today are going to be doing that. And then the last one that I really want to spend some time with is web. And the reason I want to spend some time here is that I want to, in this case, have my little video go out to YouTube. And look at this. It's already preset to go out to Yahoo Video or YouTube. I've selected YouTube. I can select the quality level. I want the best quality. And then you can simply say create, click the create button, and it's going to automatically roll me over here. And I would assign all the descriptions and the titles and so forth to the video and select the category uh, that I want this to be. So it could be travel and events. I could call this our vacation. As you can see here, we can put it in a description and so forth. And set upload as private. No, I don't want to do that. And I'm just going to say continue. And then I would log into my user account or my YouTube account and upload the file. So that's really, really easy. Or again, as I said before, I could just output this to a file. Maybe I'll make it a, an MPEG. Maybe I'll make it an MPEG. I know that the source here is good enough quality to be, say, a 720p HD. It'll automatically set up all the settings for me. And then all I have to do is click Create File. And it's going to go off now. Look over here. It's going to say, where do you want to put this file? So I'm going to go Documents. I'm going to go to July 2010. My Pinnacle Review here. And I'll just call this Final Movie. It's going to be an MPEG-2, which is a really nice quality. And then it's going to start making the movie. Look over here where it says Make Movie in Progress and the little kind of thermometer bar. And that will show you how things are going. Over here, it talks about the number of frames in your video and the progress of writing those frames to video. And when this is all done, we won't take time right now to go wait for this, but when this is all done, you have a video file. Or as you saw before, I could have uploaded this to my YouTube account if I had wished to log in. So that's it. Again, I have just touched the barest surface levels of what this program can do. It can do so many wonderful things for you. I encourage you to take a look at all the Pinnacle Studio offerings. There are three different offerings. Offerings I happen to be using the Pinnacle Studio HD 14, Rev 14, as part of the Ultimate Collection in this case. But I encourage you to check these programs out. They're a great value for what you get. Thanks a lot, folks. This is Ralph Bond. See you next time.